Anti-war protests are being held across the world after Russia invaded Ukraine. Supporters of Ukraine in South Korea have also been holding anti-war protests every week since February 27th to ask for various forms of support from the South Korean government. Following the latest interview with Ukrainians living in Korea, we decided to take part in the weekly protest and hear thoughts from anti-war protesters about their views on Moscow's invasion of Ukraine and some controversial issues being raised, such as Russophobia and crimes against humanity. Human Rights Watch has documented several cases of Russian military forces committing war crimes against Ukrainians. These are repeated rape, summary execution, and other cases of unlawful violence and threats against civilians. Also, Ukraine has been saying that Russian forces are using weapons that are widely banned because of the indiscriminate suffering they cause, such as white phosphorus bombs, cluster and vacuum bombs, killing more than 5,000 civilians in Mariupol. I, I don't know what to say because it's really uh, awful actions. I'm mortified by looking at all the news, like I'm looking at a lot of war reports and uh, Ukrainian cities, they really look like a lot of the Russian cities. They really look like my hometown, which is hard to talk about that, like Ukrainians don't deserve it at all. As Russia has intensified censorship and repression by blocking access to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as passing a law that criminalized the dissemination of fake news about the Russian armed forces, Russians are being cut off from reliable information and silenced from speaking out. They passed the law which called a defamation of the Russian army or something. If you just like say no war, like or I don't support war, you can still like go go to prison for that. The majority of the people actually actually just very scared because Putin uh, made it uh, impossible to speak against the war. You can face up to 15 years in jail if you will try to do so. Russian propaganda stories on Ukraine tells Russians that a fascist threat has spread across Ukraine, supported and orchestrated by the West. This narrative is not new. It has been told at least since 2014, starting with the Maiden Movement, the annexation of Crimea, and the ongoing war in the Donbas. The Russian propaganda portrays Russia as a heroic fighter opposing Nazism and the West, and says Russia should liberate Ukraine. But do Russians really support the war in Ukraine? Do they blindly believe Putin's propaganda? Putin was doing this propaganda for 23 years, so like uh, it's more than 20 years of brainwashing, and for uh, it was effective on some people, unfortunately. I think the propaganda is Eighty percent? No, it's not the right number. I say, you get a phone call. Do you support the operation in Ukraine? Up to ninety percent of some of the polls, people just hang up because it's whether you say that you support it or jail. Yeah. The Russian invasion of Ukraine and the subsequent criminal bombardment of civilians and their homes has served to confirm the resurgence of the world's anti-Russian sentiment, also known as Russophobia. Anna Kalashnikova, a Russian influencer, said a luxury brand Chanel denied her from buying earrings and a bag in Dubai because she is Russian. A convenience store in Gangneung, South Korea, spurred controversy for putting up a sign at the entrance that Russians are not allowed inside. Kristina Andreyevna of Chinikova a Russian YouTuber based in Korea who runs the channel Soviet Girl in Seoul posted an explanation video after a series of malicious comments from netizens complaining, is the invasion of Russia my fault? No. I'm against uh, xenophobia. It's not Russian fault uh, about this far start, but Russians just should go to uh, anti-war protests or some actions. Really don't understand people who just uh, support Putin. Putin is a person who is a I'm going to participate till the war is over. Something should be done for the military crimes which Putin did in Ukraine. Please uh, understand that not all of the Russians support Putin and just understand that it's Putin's war. 
전쟁이 일어나서 러시아인으로서 좀 많이 부끄럽습니다. 부친도 러시아 전부도 빨리 전쟁을 끝냈으면 좋겠고요. 그리고 자기 잘못을 인정하고 감옥에 갔으면 좋겠어요. 나 책임졌으면 좋겠습니다. 어, 사실 전쟁에 대해서 좀 한국에서 관심이 좀 많이 줄어들었는데 관심을 좀 많이 가졌으면 좋겠습니다. 지금 세계적으로 지금 민족주의가 올라오기 때문에 지금은 우크라이나인데 나중에는 대만이 될수 있고 끝까지 가면 저희 한국까지 될수 있기 때문에 이런 정쟁에 대해서 좀 관심을 좀 많이 가져줬으면 좋겠습니다.